Oh, no, no, no. I'm coming back. I'm coming back. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to unbox all of this stuff. Let's go. What's going on guys? Welcome to my unboxing video. This is actually my very first unboxing video. I've actually never really done one of these on my channel before in this amount pretty much. So what's going down is I'm just going to unbox all of my stuff that I just got for my new PC that I'm going to be building uh, to use at my new job. And uh, I'm just basically going to take you guys with me and show you along the way. So right now the first thing I'm going to do is open everything. So we're going to start probably with the biggest box. Why the heck not? Let's get that one out of the way. It's pretty large, and I think if you guys ever have built a computer before, you'll probably know what this is. This is the box for the case for the computer. Of course, I go to uh, actually unbox the thing, and it, there's no knife. I'll be right back. One sec. A few moments later. Uh, I'm going to explain what we got here. This is the, uh, the Fantex P400 Tempered Glass Edition. So this will actually look really, really cool on my, uh, my desk at work. Um, not super gamery or anything like that. Pretty contemporary and stylish looking, and the tempered glass is going to add to that too. So that's kind of what I wanted for my office. So here we go. Let's lift this thing up and see if it'll get... There we go. Look at that. Box within a box. It's Boxception. All right, here we go. Let's see if we can make this happen. Aha! There we go. And we have ourselves a computer case. Oh, static, that sucks. And here we go. Voila! Look at that. Now that. Okay, you guys saw it before I did. That looks really, really cool, guys. Holy crap, am I excited about that. You can see right here, sticker. Tells you there's tempered glass and it says fragile, be careful with that. And it looks like in shipping, I'm lucky. Nothing broke, so. Okay, so next, we will go ahead and open one of these little small ones, I guess. I ordered a bunch of stuff off Amazon, and I'm and Newegg, and I'm uh, just gonna unbox all of it for it. Do I even need the knife for this one? No, I don't. This is just a small little bag. So here we go. What do we got in here? This is supposed to be a screen protector for my camera that, you're, that I'm recording this on right now. Uh, because the current screen protector that I already had was uh, a little cracked from being in my backpack because I'm very, I'm so caring with my gear. Not, I gotta be better about that, but so that's kind of neat. They send it to you in like a little wooden thing. Oh, no way, it actually, okay, cool, look at that. So the screen, there's actually two screen protectors in there. They give you wipes, and the little guide stickers, and the uh, little peel thing that you can you peel off your stuff with, and then get all the lint off. No way. And guys, I got that on Amazon for like $7. Look at that, yeah, there's one, it's inside that. There's another one right here, and it comes with instructions and everything. So if you guys need, if you have a Sony a6000 through 6500 and you need some uh, screen protectors, there you go. Here we got something. I'm not sure what this is either. I need the, I don't even know if I need a knife for this, but we'll just, there we go. Okay, what is this? Oh, Velcro straps for cable management. At my office, I want everything to look really nice when the customers and the clients come in. So I don't want them to see wires and stuff everywhere. We have a really nice studio with everything very vintage and uh, cool looking, so I want my space to look very clean and uh, you know well put together. So got to got to do some good cable management. So that's what these are for. Oh man, I need some water. All right, guys, now to the really really fun part. This is going to be like pretty much all of my computer components that we're using for the computer. So we will start probably with the most important component. Well, one of them. This guy from Newegg right here. I already opened this just to make sure earlier that I uh, actually got what I ordered because um, I would have been really upset if I didn't get the right thing. So here we go. This is from Newegg. Got some more stuff like that. What does Newegg send me? Let's see. There's my packing list. Yep, there's that. Newegg is really funny about sending you these little uh, advertisements these days. Anyway, so here is the motherboard for my new build, which is the MSI B350 Gaming Plus motherboard right here. So, the reason why, I know I'm sure all of you are going to ask, why did I go with B350 and not X370? Because this is a work build, I wanted it to be cost efficient, and I wanted to make it uh, be able to do exactly what I wanted to do, but just be efficient above all, um, and not break the bank really. So, 
The X370 boards are about $30 more uh, expensive and really all you get more on the X370 version of this or anything else from a different company is you get more bells and whistles like more RGB support which I don't care about because this is going to be on a desk in my office and I don't really need a light show going on when customers are in there and uh, I, I don't need all the extra stuff that it comes with because you can still overclock with B350 and they work amazingly. So this thing is plenty for what I need so it's going to work great. So happy with it. All right and next we got another we got a box from Amazon Prime. We love these. Okay, this one's actually pretty heavy. There we go. Didn't even look in this one yet, really. So let's check this out. It's more of my favorite stuff. Whee! Oh, dude. The heart and the soul of my build is this guy right here. The AMD Ryzen 7 1700 processor. This guy right here, the reason I got this is because I didn't need the 1700X because I'm not actually going to put a, uh, a different cooler on this. I'm going to go ahead and just use the one that's included because it comes with that Wraith Spire cooler that has RGB on it so you can actually make it whatever color you want. But everywhere I look, this cooler you can actually overclock with it and get it to about 3.8, 3.9 on air, this stock cooler, and you're totally fine. So why would I spend the extra money when I can get this processor for a great price? I think I paid about $300 for it, it's like $299 something like that from Amazon and it comes with a cooler so I don't have to buy an AIO or another um, another air cooler to go with it so this thing is perfect for a work build just like just like I need it so it's gonna shred through all that stuff all that content that I'm gonna be creating and I'm gonna go I'm pretty sure this guy is yeah it's got eight cores and 16 threads guys so yeah this is gonna be great alright guys so what else do I got in this box here so actually for my main storage for my build, it's gonna be the uh, Samsung 960 Evo SSD, and it's an M.2 SSD, so it'll go right on the motherboard right there. It won't take up any of my uh, SATA, SATA ports or anything like that. It's gonna just uh, link right up with my motherboard, and it's super fast, it's an MVME SSD, so uh, I'm gonna actually be putting my main programs on here like Premiere and uh, Photoshop and Lightroom, and uh, all of my video projects, I'll probably use the, uh, the project files on this guy right here. Uh, when I initially edit them, that way uh, my uh, project line in Premiere it'll play back super fast because I'm going to be doing 4K editing. So this guy's going to be a uh, pretty pretty awesome uh, instrument for my build there. Okay, and next, what else do we got? Oh, we got the the power supply right here. There we go, and we got the EVGA 550B3. So a lot of you are going to already ask, why did you get a 550 watt power supply? Why didn't you get more? Um, and that's because this build right here is actually really low power. I'm not doing a, an incredible amount of overclocking with it, like I said. And uh, as far as the, uh, the components, I already put it in PC part picker and used the, uh, the wattage counter. And it's really only gonna, with everything and all the hard drives I'm gonna hook up into it, it's really only gonna be pulling about maybe 380 watts at max. So that already gives me extra room to put even more hard drives if I need it. And that gives me extra room to um, overclock if I want to as well. So with 550, um, 550 watts right here from this guy, it's going to be plenty. Uh, and this uh, power supply is 80, 80 plus bronze rated. I was going to go with a uh, gold rated power supply since this is a work build. And I wanted it to be extra efficient. But I found this guy on Amazon for a crazy price. I'm pretty sure when I bought it, it was only $55. And I think they normally go for about $64 or $70, something like that. So um, it's fully modular. Uh, it's got the uh, all, all black cables and everything like that. And I love these uh, power supplies from EVGA. I have one in my current build right now. So uh, it was a no brainer. I saw it for a really, really awesome sale price on Amazon Prime and had to have it. So there you go. All right, and next, the final thing in this box here is a four terabyte My Passport drive from WD. The reason I got this right here is so I can easily uh, dump a lot of my uh, media files I'm gonna be creating at work onto this. Um, for my office and bring it to my house if I ever need to and really the reason I got this is just because uh, For the time being I'm gonna go ahead and store my files on this uh, Until I can afford something like a crazy, uh, you know uh, Raid array or something like that where I can put like maybe like 20 terabytes into it and then uh, use that as like a media server um, Can't afford something like that right now So this and my extra hard drives that I already have are gonna have to do so the so next thing we're gonna open here is this little guy right here and I'm pretty sure this is probably my uh, my RAM for my build. This one came from Newegg as well. Here we go, what do we got? Yep, it's gonna be my RAM, that's awesome. Here is your bubble wrap moment of the day. 
<laughs> I can't help it. Anyway, all right. And this uh, kit right here is actually from Team Group. It's called the uh, T Force Dark. Um, just gray, wasn't anything weird, no RGB on it, um, but I got it at a really, really good price. It was probably the cheapest RAM I could find at 3000 megahertz um, in a 32 gigabyte kit. Uh, I got 32 gigabytes because it's an editing build. Like I said, I'm gonna be editing 4K video, so I want as much memory bandwidth as I can have. Um, and then I also wanted 3000 megahertz because Ryzen takes advantage of higher clocked um, memory. So hopefully my motherboard will actually be able to recognize this. I know there's been a lot of problems lately with Ryzen boards and their memory um, frequencies. So hopefully it recognizes it right away. If not, I'll have to tweak a bunch of stuff or update the BIOS or something to make that happen. All right, guys, and let's see my peripherals. So I actually did get new peripherals for my build at work. More of my favorite stuff here. Yes. Okay. So I actually took a little leap of faith on this kind of stuff right here. I didn't pay a bunch of money for peripherals. Like I said, I was trying to keep all of this really cost efficient. So I've heard of this keyboard before and mouse, and I really wanted to try it because the keyboard and mouse I currently have, it's they're from Logitech and they're they're clicky, they're mechanical, they're really nice, but they don't have that super, super tactile clicky feel like you see on like Razer ones or stuff like that that have the Cherry MX blues or greens. I think the one in my Logitech, uh, it's a Logitech G710 Plus. It has, I think, browns or something like that that Logitech uses. So it's a little bit quieter, um, not as clicky feeling, but um, I've heard this one right here is exactly what I was looking for, and it's super cheap. So I got the Red Dragon Kumara keyboard right here. It's the 10 keyless version too, so it's very small, which I wanted that. I wanted a very small keyboard, so it takes up less of a footprint on my desk at work. So I got that. It's actually pretty hefty too. I don't know if uh, anybody else notices, but it's a lot heavier than I thought it was gonna be. So that's kind of crazy. And then I got their Red Dragon, what is this thing called? The Mirage mouse right here, it's wireless. So I definitely wanted a wireless mouse. I didn't wanna, like I said, I wanted to you know, get as many wires off my desk as possible. So I got this guy right here. And uh, if you're worried about this, don't worry. It's because this was on one of Amazon warehouse deals. It's, uh, it's it's probably perfectly fine. It just said that the box was gonna be a little bit damaged, so we're good. Um, but I've seen the reviews on this thing. They both have really crazy reviews on them, and uh, I'm pretty excited to try those. And I'm actually probably going to review both of these items for you guys and make videos about these two, so. Um, and then I also got myself a large game uh, mouse mat, because um, I currently have the one from Corsair on my desk right now. Um, I think it's like the MM300 or something like that, but I got one right here for my desk at work because I really like these a lot. Um, they lay out on your entire desk and you can put your keyboard and your mouse on it and it just feels really nice to the, hand, to the touch and everything. And I got one of these, it was really cheap um, and it actually has like a world map on it. So it looks really, really cool. I thought that was nice, so I got that. All right guys, so that's gonna be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoy watching me open all that stuff. I kind of went crazy on Amazon and Newegg there, but I needed a new computer build for my office, so I figured why not go all out for a little bit and make a video for you guys showing it. Um, if you guys saw that there was no graphics card in the, in the video, there's a reason for that. That's because graphics card prices are really bad right now. I was planning on going with a uh, GTX 1080 for this build, but couldn't find one for a reasonable price, really. There's been a couple price drops, but for right now, with all that stuff I just bought, couldn't really justify buying one because I do have a GTX 1070 that's in my build right now that I use that I can just part out and use that for my build. So I will be using that when I do the actual build of the computer. So don't worry, we're gonna have a GTX 1070 in there. It's plenty fast for what I need. Uh, down the road, I might upgrade that. So of course I'll update that and make another video of that if I do. So if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you guys smash that like button for me. I really appreciate that. Um, go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you didn't like it, go ahead and give it a thumbs down. Let me know what I could do better next time. Uh, and I will see you guys in the next video, which will be me building that computer. So uh, we'll see you then. Bye.